let's begin by talking about slope this time. Slope has to do with how slanted a line is. Now, lines can have either a positive slope or a negative slope. Remember, positive lines are lines that are going uphill. You can test whether a line is going uphill by writing your name on the line. If your name is going uphill, the line has a positive slope. Likewise, if you write your name on a line and it's going downhill, it has a negative slope. So the positive sign and negative sign has nothing to do with what quadrant the line is in. It has to do with whether or not the line is going uphill or downhill. There are also two special lines that we have to consider the slopes of. These are horizontal lines and, and vertical lines. Horizontal lines are lines that run from side to side and they have a slope of zero. Remember that horizontal and zero both have Z's in them. Vertical lines, their slope is undefined. Okay. The, the slope of these two lines needs to be memorized. Now let's look at the specific measurement of how we find the slope of a line. To do this we use the formula rise over run. Slope is rise over run. And we use this when we look at a graph. We're going to consider the slope of two different lines. If we first look at this black line, this black line, if we write our name on it, appears to be going downhill. So we know that the slope of this line would be negative. To find the specific slope of the line, we're going to place dots on the graph at the corners where the line goes through. So let's go through first and place some dots at the, on the graph. You can see here the line is going through a corner. We can place a dot there. If we follow the line down, we see it's going through another corner right there at the x-intercept. And again, it's going through another corner, and yet again. The dots should be going through the corners at regular intervals. You only need to have a minimum of two points to find the slope. Okay, first we're going to count from point to point how many we rise, and then we're going to count how many we run. That's all we're doing is counting. So if we start at the top, we're going to rise, but we're going to rise down two. So we're going down two, which would be a negative two. Down two. And then we're running over a positive one or to the right one. So our slope of this line, the slope of the black line, is negative two over positive one. Slope is always a fraction. Slope should always be written as a fraction. Let's look at the blue line now. Again, the first thing we need to do is determine whether or not the slope is positive or negative. So we're going to write our name on the line, and we see that the line this time is going uphill, so it will have a positive slope. And we're going to place our dots on the line to determine from what two points to count. And we could start anywhere on our graph. If we first look in the middle, we see here this point right here under the S it's going through a corner. And we follow the line up and it goes through a, another corner. And we follow it up again and yet a, another corner. Again, to find the slope, we're going to count how many we rise and how many we run. And it doesn't matter which two points we use to determine the slope of the line. Rising is moving up, so we're going to rise one and we're going to run one, two, three points. Again, we could do it rise one, run one, two, three points. This means that the slope of the blue line is positive one over three. Again, the slope is a fraction, and that's how you find the slope of a line when it's on a graph. Thank you.